welcome to 13 signs tarot this is harley and this is another pick a card reading this reading is going to be what things are going to look like a year from now in your connection okay of course this is timeless but it is being filmed in march 2020 so we're going to be looking at how things are going to play out for the next year with you and this person uh if you're going to be together uh you know some of you may be trying to figure out if you should even keep on you know dealing with this person um some of you may not have another year in you so this is going to let you know if this is something that you should look forward to in a year or not, okay? It's just a pick a card. If it doesn't resonate, try to another pile, okay? So we're gonna start with, this is the Universal Tarot first. Then this is the AE White Tarot, I believe. And then this is the Tattoo Tarot, okay? I will list these piles below and you pick a pile. So here, one, two, three, okay? And of course I have Oracle messages for each pile. So we'll have the love messages. We'll get at the energy of the overall connection, okay? And these oracles are the Queen of Moon Oracle and the Romance Oracle Dorian Virtue, okay? So I'm gonna be quiet and let you guys pick your pile, okay? Okay, so pile one. Let's get into pile one really quick and see who is what's gonna be happening in this connection that you're in the next year from now. See what we see going for pile number one. Please make sure that you comment, even if it's just your number. Let me know how you're feeling about these pick a card readings. If you need a personalized reading from me, it is in the description box at my Wizio site. You'll be able to ask me a personalized question. That's the only place you can ask me a question for yourself. If you want a soulmate or twin flame reading, those are in the description box. They are um, on a first come first serve basis okay so let's go ahead and get into your energy for pile number one we have chemistry wow so there's a strong magnetic attraction here this is one of my twin flame cards in this deck because of the red and blue it doesn't necessarily have to be but this is a strong connection obviously right and we have assessing first quarter moon okay so the overall energy some of you this pile um since we're in the assessing phase of the relationship I don't feel like you've known this person for too long. So pile number one, I'm not saying that you haven't, but for a lot of you, this relationship is at the point where you're assessing it. There's a lot of chemistry here, but you're not sure if this is um, going to manifest or not because this is assessing. It's the first quarter moon um, and it's the, you know, the first part of the moon cycle. Okay, so the emotions with this person are not yet full. There's chemistry, there's attraction here, but I feel like the emotions part of this connection is still growing. Show me this connection a year from now, Spirit. So in the past, we have the Ten of Swords. So this is a Gemini for some of you, or you could be a Gemini watching. But I feel like there was pain in the past with this person. The Eight of Pentacles. So maybe for some of you, this is someone that there's already been a connection with, but you guys separated in the past. This is someone you broke up with, and maybe you all came back together. There's a lot of chemistry that keeps bringing you and this person back together. I'm hearing, um, what's that song by Ariana Grande? Every time, it's called, or every time it's on Sweetener. Um, it's, she's like, um, I go back to you, back to you every time. It's like, um, they, she just can't understand why. So this could be one of those connections where it ends and then it starts over again. The current energy between you and this person is the Eight of Pentacles. So this could definitely be a Virgo or you're a Virgo watching this. But this is the assessing energy because Virgos are all about assessments, right? They're all about making assessments. So again, you guys are trying to work this out with this person currently. I'm seeing either one of you or both of you are putting a lot of work into this connection to make it work. Yeah, this is two people for me that, that may have lost each other and now they're coming back full-fledged here trying to make it work okay so let's see what this looks like so a year from now you have the king of wands this is a fire sign aries leo sagittarius strong leo with this lion in the back so if you're dealing with the leo then this person is going to be in your life still present sure they're not going anywhere if they're a fire sign even aries sagittarius they're not going anywhere give me more about this king of wands this king of wands is also a married king so this king may be um very interested in marrying you. With the chemistry card here, this is a fire sign for a lot of you because fire signs are all about chemistry. Three of Pentacles. I see you guys working this out with this person. You guys are gonna be working things out with this person. Is this marriage spirit? Is this marriage? <clears throat> the Four of Pentacles. I don't know if this is necessarily marriage, but I do see you guys holding on to each other. Strength card, yeah. 
So I will say this. I don't know if you're necessarily going to be married to this person a year from now, but I still see you guys in this relationship. I don't feel like you two are going to give up, uh, especially if you're with the Leo, like strong Leo or you're a Leo. Uh, there's sad energy here. What's going to keep these two together? You guys are going to stay together. So I see some of you staying together with this person for at least three to four years. Okay. What's going to keep these two together, spirit? What's going to keep these two together, spirit? What, are, what is going to keep these two in a relationship? We have the Four of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So if you're an air sign watching this, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you may be a Sagittarius, um, there's a lot of healing that comes from this connection. The feminine in this connection is going to be the driving force as far as not so much a Queen of Swords. She gets a bad rap. She's not always mean. Um, she is just very clear about what she wants and she's very, um, logical because for some of you, the masculine, this connection is very, um, spontaneous, impulsive. Um, they may get around at some point they were getting around. Maybe that's why you guys broke up in the past. Uh, some of you are Gemini women watching this, but, um, or Libra, the women, the woman in this connection is very healing. The feminine in this connection, you may actually be a healer or intellectual speaker, someone who actually even a doctor for some of you, you could even be a surgeon. Some of you watching this, I know that seems crazy, but the four of swords and queen of swords, she's a doctor who can perform surgery. So that could be a case. A lot of you are very smart women. Okay. And you are a healer, Aquarian, whatever. Um, you're healing this masculine. And because of the healing, this masculine is going to want to put in work. They just can't see themselves having this much peace and tranquility with another woman. Um, also, like I said, the woman in this connection, you may have not had a lot of boundaries in the past, but you have boundaries now. And the boundaries that you set for this connection are actually good for this person to grow in their career and money-wise. So this is also a very smart businesswoman. Okay, so this King of Wands is entrepreneurial. He may have some uh creative projects and some things he wants to build for his life so this is a very good couple especially if you're like a leo gemini couple leo gemini's are great together um i've been through a couple you know of those relationships and they were awesome um so this is something i see that you guys are going to stay together because you both are healing the woman in this connection is very intelligent and the fire sign or this masculine loves that about you too um, you guys are going to have peace together. That's what makes you guys want to work on this is the amount of peace. And then the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. How beautiful. Okay, some of you, this is maybe someone that you had children with and you separated, but you came back together. Um, or it's just peaceful. You know, the Ten of Cups is building something together and being happy. So this is really beautiful, you guys. And I don't feel like you guys are necessarily too focused on the traditional marriage. But I do see a very long-term commitment with this person. At least for the next three to four years, I'm seeing you be with this person. Okay, so pot number one, that was actually really good. I hope you claim this reading in the comments. This is really good. Um, please let me know what you think about this and leave me a comment, okay? Let me know what you think about the pick a cards, period. And I also do look at suggestions for pick a cards, okay? So we're going to move to pile number two. Let's see what's going on for pile number two. All right, pile number two. Let's see if you're going to be with this person or if this what's going to be happening in this connection a year from now. So we have the honeymoon, okay? Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So... Uh, the honeymoon is always a positive card to me. It's not really a bad card. It feels like this also may be a newer connection. Pile one was kind of a newer connection, but maybe like a connection that broke up and came back together. This may be a new connection because you guys always know that like, they call the beginning of relationships honeymoon phases. So you could be going through that with this person. Um, wow, this is beautiful, guys. You guys got resilience. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Okay, this is a three. Okay. Empress energy. Wow. Okay. Very fruitful, abundant connection. And someone in this connection is very well ready to do whatever work needs to happen. This is a waning gibbous. Okay. So this is after the work has been done, even after the work has been done, even after the manifestation of the relationship, because the full moon is when um, the, the manifestation happens, but the waxing is when it builds up. The waning is when the moon is becoming less. And even after that, even after the manifestation of the relationship, this person is going to be putting in work, maybe even to keep you in the honeymoon phase, like keep this relationship in a positive phase. Okay. So let's see what's going on for this connection a year from now, spirit. What's going on for this connection, please? What is going on for this connection, spirit, a year from now? Pile two, what's going on for this connection? Are they going to be with this person? What's going on for pile two, please, spirit? What's going on for pile two? Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. 
Okay, so you guys have a similar pile to um, pile two, I mean, pile one, you have a similar pile. I'm gonna give you guys another card. Mm, maybe one more. Man, one more. Okay. Okay, so what I'm getting here is Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. I will say this, you will be with this person or this person is going to be in your life a year from now, especially if they're a water sign like a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you could also be a water sign watching this, a water sign woman. It just really depends. I'm seeing a lot of heartbreak in this connection though. I'm seeing you guys making this work. I, I feel like neither one of you want to leave this. Some of you will have a child with this person a year from now. There will be a son here. And I feel like you guys are going to be making it work for that. Like some of you may have a child with someone, so you're going to make it work. A lot of you are dealing with Pisces men or a Pisces, a Leo man here, a Sagittarius. You and this person are compatible, pile number two. I'm going to tell you right now, you two are not compatible. I see you guys trying to make this work a year from now, possibly because of a son or it could just be a child in general. But we have the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups as a current energy. In the past, there was also a lot of heartbreak with this connection. Someone may have had third party energy here or one person wanted to be in the connection, but the other person was acting single. I feel, I feel like this is like pile number one and the fact that there was possibly a breakup in the past. The current energy is the Nine of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So the feminine is connection is very receptive, very smart, intuitive, emotionally intelligent. And the masculine is connection is very immature with the Nine of Wands here. Okay, right now this person is, um, they're not committed to this relationship. Okay, with the Nine of Wands, they're very in and out. They're very flaky. You are giving them a lot of unconditional love, a lot of um, empathy for this person. And that I feel is, is where the resilience is coming in at. I feel like maybe the feminine is connection because even this with this being a three, you're the one who's still going to be putting in the work to make this work. Okay, so I don't know how you feel about that, but pile number two, right now you're doing a lot of the work. Okay, you could even be like like pulling away from this person. I'm hearing that you know a lot of you are going on self love journeys, and that's fine. That's probably what's best with this connection right now. If you are pulling away from this person. Or I would, like I would I would definitely start focusing on myself if I'm the one watching this or the feminine in this connection. Close your cup to this person because what's gonna happen is this person's gonna come back around like the king of cups, their, your counterpart, okay? Whether you're a water sign or not, some of you are just very intuitive and you're very watery, okay? So, or very nurturing. This person's gonna shift into your energy once you start to hold back from them because you are the one always doing the work I feel in this connection. So this person has a long term, a lifetime of, at least for the next year, learning more about their emotional self. This person is learning different lessons about how to be more emotional, how to show up in a relationship, how to keep a promise, how to be a father. Um, this person is learning how to be emotionally stable and it's through you, pile number two. This is definitely most likely twin flame, okay, with the king of cups and the queen of cups here. I do feel like there is going to be times in this connection where maybe the feminine withdraws emotionally. The feminine withdraws emotionally in the future. I do feel like, let me see. I feel like you, you're you going to have times where you have to take a break from this person. Whoever's watching, you're going to have times where even maybe you want to walk away from them. Yeah, you want to walk away. Some of you are going to have to be selfish. This is someone that you have to be selfish with. You cannot be empathetic, giving and loving and like all what you're doing now. You cannot because that is to me what's helping this person learn how to be more emotional. If you're doing all the emotional work, if you're telling this person, if you're doing all the emotional work in the connection, this person has no reason to. A lot of you are going to stay with this person. I see you staying with this person, but there's going to be a lot of times where you just have to pull away for your own self and happiness, okay? There is. But I don't see the masculine in this connection giving up. With the hangman and the king of cups, this masculine, um, you've changed their life. You've changed their perspective on relationships and how they deal with relationships. 
So this person is not going to let you go. I feel like you're not gonna let this person go either with the strength card here. Some of you are Leos watching this or you might need to watch pile number one because there was a ton of Leo energy in that one. Uh, a lot of you are women who love children. You love the fact that you've had a child with this person for some of you or will. So you're gonna make it work for the child. You know what I'm saying? Not just for the child, but there is love here. It's just that some of you are too giving in love. Like this is a lesson for you as well with the strength card here. How to hold back all that love that you give because some of you are very loving, like super like Cancerian maybe, or you just have a very pop and heart chakra. So you're learning the lesson about holding back your emotions from this person and not being so giving. And this person is learning to be more giving and be more showing up, you know, solid, keeping promises. So this is actually really beautiful. Just know that you're going to have to take some R&R &R from this relationship at times because this person is, this, they're on a lifelong journey is what I'm hearing. A lifelong journey to learn how to be more emotional. So it's actually pretty beautiful, but I do see you being with this person a year from now. But just know there's going to be times where you two may have to like separate for you the person watching this not this person because this person doesn't care like not even they don't care they care they don't care as in they're going to be there no matter what they're going to stick this out no matter what so that's what i'm getting for pile number two so i hope you guys like this reading let me know if it resonates if not pick another pile like i said pile one was very similar okay so let's go ahead and get into pile number three shall we Pile number three, what is up, you guys? Let's see what's up with pile number three. Let's clear this energy out. This is the Tattoo Tarot. It's a beautiful deck that I got from one of my subscribers. If you get me a deck, you guys, I shout out everyone. I forgot to mention on pile number two, but on pile three, if you need to talk to me, the description box down below at my Wizio site is there. You can ask me a personalized question. That's the only place that you can ask me a personalized question. Um, you can also get a soulmate or twin flame reading. That's in the description box if you need to talk to me, okay? So let's see what's going on for pile number three. We have love your fir your, yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? So if this pile winds up not resonating with you, definitely watch pile number two because that is what the energy was about for pile number two, a lot of self-love. Okay, so um, this person is someone that you're going to have to put yourself first with a lot because this person may not have any issues putting themselves first, okay? I'm getting more with this energy that if you are going to be with this person, and we won't know until we pull the tarot, right? Um, that you are going to have to be a strong counterpart to this person. Like maybe this person is very independent and they, um, their partner is going to be the same, which is you, right? Wow, we have beauty, which is the Wayne and Gibbous. Okay, so this is awesome. This is a two. All right, so this person finds that you're very beautiful. A, a lot of you, this is about self-love and beauty. This is this person is teaching you how to love yourself. They're teaching you how to love yourself in the fact that seeing that you're beautiful. Maybe some of you don't realize how beautiful you are, not just, like I was saying on, I think it was like Virgo's video, like beauty is not about your face. Like, so what, you got a nice face. Your parents did that. Like, you didn't do anything to do that. Like, I mean, unless you got surgery, which is cool. I'm just saying, for the most part, if you're naturally aesthetically pleasing, it's because of your parents. So you don't really get, like when people tell me I'm pretty, I'm like, thanks, I'll let my mom and dad know, you know. But if you're beautiful, that is like from your soul. That's when you choose and your soul is just freaking beautiful and people see it. So that's what this is about. Loving yourself and you seeing the beauty in yourself because other people probably already see it. Okay, so let's see what's going on for pile number three. Are you going to be with this person a year from now? Let's see what's going on for pile number three with this person. Ooh. So we have the magician in the past. So this for some of you may be a twin flame energy I'm getting. Ooh. This may be a twin flame for some of you. Okay. Wow. Okay. So you and this person are currently in separation for some of you. The magician did want to come, kind of come out in reverse. So for some of you, this person could have been very manipulative to you in the past. Like you could have felt like this person just used you. This person lied a lot. Okay. Right now you're in separation from this person. This is probably why this love yourself first card came out. Okay. Okay. So if you're dealing with an earth sign like a Virgo or a Capricorn or, or a Taurus, I do feel like there's a possibility that you will be with this earth sign, okay? That's just for earth signs. Some of you are earth signs watching this though. So you, some of you are Capricorn women, okay? Or Taurus, Virgo women, okay? There's a definite separation between you and this person right now. We have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, which is always my a year from now card. So that's really good. Clear for, clarify the Magician. Queen of Swords. Yeah, some of you had to cut someone off. It could have been a Gemini or another air sign, or you just had to really be 
cut like cut this person off like this person may be your masculine or your feminine your divine counterpart but they were de being deceptive in the past with the seven of swords you saw through the bullshit and you cut this person off okay you like definitely had to cut this person off um for whatever reason here you had to really get get bold and, and set up boundaries with this person why is the three of swords here this is so different than um the other two piles i feel like. other than the self-love part but okay, so there may have been some sort of argument here. Some of you are letting go of someone who's very, like right now you're separating yourself from someone because it's just not good between you and this person. Like there could be arguments, a lot of hostile communication. Maybe this person doesn't speak to you good, like well. They don't speak to you the way that they should. Um, this person could be flaky, like in and out of your life with the Knight of Swords, very fast moving energy. Um, some of you are definitely dealing with an air sign. Yeah, there's a lot. There's been a lot of pain here with this person. You're taking a break from this person, especially Libra women. You have like pulled away from this person because there's been a lot of wounding. It's either this person was wounded, so they wounded you, or you guys wounded each other, or this person really wounded you. Some of you are dealing with the wounded masculine. Yeah, the world. One more. This could be Taurus, Scorpio. Five of Wands in reverse. So some of you pulled away from somebody because you didn't want to argue anymore. You didn't want to argue anymore. And you also didn't want to be a part of this person's, like, it looks like they got my like, little harem going on. They got some options. So a lot of you didn't want to be an option. This world card tells me that that was what you were meant to do. This ended some karma that you had with this person because a lot of you had a hard time stepping up for yourself, like, or standing up for yourself. A lot of you had a hard time placing boundaries. So spirit sent your masculine to show you, like, because you're going to feel love for this person. Like, it's one thing with your family and your friends. It's harder to put those boundaries up. But when you have a masculine, like, your twin flame, they're going to they're gonna trigger things in you like that you didn't even know was in you. Like, they're going to do things, especially like a magician, like this person they're so they can be so disrespectful with the way that they move that it's like this is who you think i am like you had to you had to check yourself like is this who i want to be in life is this who i want to deal with? like this is what i want to deal with so spirit sent your masculine or your counterpart in to show you how to love yourself and you took you took a uh, heed to that you removed yourself from this person so let's see what's going on with this queen of pentacles is this in being together or what the, a lot of you're going to be focused on your coin a year from now a lot of you're going to be sitting really pretty uh financially some of you're going to be beauty gurus or business women the four of swords Ooh, a lot of you may not decide to go back down this road with this person three of cups uh lovers reverse a lot of you are not going to pick like if you're done with a gemini you're not moving forward with this gemini one more. Are they going to move forward with this person a year from now? Is this a new person spirit or the same person from the past? Okay. Mm. One more. Okay, so a lot of you are going to wind up being with this person. But it's going to be after a period of separation. Like... You're going to be, yeah, you're going to separate from this person because they have some sort of third party energy in their life. Like, especially if it's strong Gemini coming up here. Okay. Or somebody with strong Gemini energy in their chart. Yeah. This person, you're going to leave them in the cold. You're going to leave them in the cold. When are they going to come together with this person next year? So yeah. Some of you already know you're going to be with this person. So that's why you have no problem separating from them. Some of you I'm seeing by Virgo season next year, you and this person will be in a relationship. Yeah, this person has so many feelings for you. King of Cups, Ten of Wands. This is a water sign for some of you. Could even be a Capricorn. I was getting strong Capricorn earlier. Um, this person's going to be releasing a lot of burden. So you are going to be on a, a very like, it, it may not even be a long hiatus from this person. But a lot of you, what's going to happen is as a result of you pulling away from this person and healing yourself and focusing strictly on your coin and yourself self-love beauty because the queen of pentacles can be so many things she's a businesswoman she can be a beauty guru she can be so many things uh teacher mother whatever she's 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 lit like she's good on her own so you're going to be healing yourself and focusing on your coin and then along comes polly whoever this person is could be virgo pisces cancer scorpio who, someone you've already know that they were going to come to you you already knew with the three of wands you already knew. This is your divine counterpart. So if some of you are with your twin flame, then yes, you're going to be with this person. But it's not going to be till like summer next year. Yeah, I'm seeing September. Nine of Cups here. Um, 
So some of you are going to be with this person in September of next year. And I know a lot of you are like, oh, I don't want to wait. Then that's fine. This is not your person. You pick another pile. Um, but I do see, and this is like a year from now. Okay, so basically, if you're watching this in March, no. You probably won't be with this person in March. But you will be with them at some point next year is what I'm getting. So a year from now, no, not necessarily, depending on when you're watching this. Okay, for a lot of you, I'm seeing for this particular, when this is being filmed, this it's going to be September okay of whatever year you're watching virgo season is very prevalent here okay i'm hearing something about february too so that could be someone's birthday especially if you're a pisces yeah so yeah uh this person you guys are going to be moving forward with this person but the masculine is going to have to come for you yep the masculine is going to have to come for the feminine in this connection the feminine is going to have options she's going to be doing her so self-love is the priority with this person you all you all like you really like focusing on yourself and your coin is really going to get this person to move forward with you but for some of you not exactly a year from now some of you it's going to be longer than that okay and some of you it could be exactly a year from now but that's not what i'm seeing so that's not what i'm going to say all right. But I do see you being with this person. But this person, this is already a masculine. This is someone who knows their power. That's the hard thing. When you're dealing with a masculine who doesn't know who he is, that's one thing. You know what I mean? It's kind of easier because they're going to need you for guidance. This is someone who already knows who they are. This person also needs you. They just don't know it yet. And you have to break apart from this person for them to realize how much they need this connection. Okay. And as far as twin flame need it, not like you're going to die without this person, but we know what the twin flame journey is about. Okay. So I hope that this helps. Pile number three, please leave a comment below and let me know if it resonates. Again, if it doesn't pick another pile, and if you need to talk to me, everything is in the description box. Okay. I will talk to you later for the next pick a card, y'all. Bye.